Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll talk about Pomodoro Timer. How you can set up a Pomodoro Timer right inside Obsidian. If you use Pomodoro technique to stay productive and you use any other applications or services to use Pomodoro Timer, then you don't have to. You can do that right inside of Obsidian. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. How you can add a Pomodoro Timer right inside of Obsidian. So let me take you to my computer screen and show you how it's done. So here is my Obsidian Vault and I will show you two methods by which you can add a Pomodoro Timer inside Obsidian. One is by using the Comity plugin and another without using Comity plugin. So for Comity plugin, we'll need to install a Comity plugin called Status Bar Pomodoro Timer. So I'll just search for Status Bar Pomodoro Timer. We have here and this is the one that I'm talking about. It has about 11,000 downloads right now by KZHOVN. And once you have installed this plugin, go to options to see uh, some of the configurations. Uh, you can set Pomodoro timer for different minutes. The default is 25 minutes. You can change it to 50 if you prefer longer Pomodoros or even 90 if you prefer very long Pomodoros. And short break we have assigned here 10 and long break 30. And after four Pomodoros, we will take long breaks. That's what this is about. And here is the sidebar icon. If you turn it off, it will disappear from here. And if you turn it on, it will appear here and the emoji icon uh, appears on the status bar so i'll just turn it on then one of the uh, feature that i like about this comedy plugin is the white noise feature if you prefer to work with a headphone on and a white noise because you have a lot of noise around you then i would suggest you to turn on this option white noise option and then another option here we have is logging option you can log your pomodoro you and these logs will be saved to either a log file called pomodoro log or they can be saved to a daily note file you can enable this option if you want to save the Pomodoro logs to a daily note file. So I'll just turn this on. Another feature here is log active note. This means if you have a active if you have a note open in your obsidian, then it will also log that note in the log file. This is all about the Pomodoro timer settings. And here is the option to start Pomodoro. If I click on start Pomodoro, it will start a 50 minute Pomodoro because that's what we have set in the timer. And here you can see the timer. 49 minutes 52 seconds right now and it's decreasing so this is the pomodoro timer you can pause this from here or you can quit this pomodoro by searching from the command palette pomodoro and you can quit this timer so this is the first way of adding a pomodoro timer right inside of obsidian now let me show you the second method for that we'll use a website called pomo focus and embed the website inside our obsidian vault let me show you the website called pomofocus.io this is the website that we'll be using in our obsidian this website is very simple as well as intuitive to embed this website inside our obsidian vault we'll need to create a new file let's call it pomodoro timer and we'll need to add this iframe code and if you move your cursor to a different section it will render as this website here we have the website pomodoro 50 minutes short break long break you can change this as well from settings over here and you can also change the color background color if you want to i know this timer looks very big and we can also make it small but first let me just move this note note to the sidebar because every time we have to start or every time we have to pause our timer we'll need to open this note that is a very frictionful workflow so i'll just move this note on the sidebar down over here you can see here the size of the website is a little messed up so i'll just change the height section to 100% so that it becomes a simple Pomodoro timer over here. I'll change that to 100%, width is 100% and height is 100% and if I move a cursor over here, it will be a simple Pomodoro timer, just like this. You can change the time for break to end to focus timer and begin focus. And here we are focusing right now, we are we have the Pomodoro timer has started, we can pause this or we can end this Pomodoro session, just like this. And to make sure this note stays right here, you'll need to pin this note into this section. So now even if you close app and reopen this app, this Pomodoro timer will always stay at the sidebar on your Obsidian Vault. So let me just turn off notification right here. So this is a simple method to add a Pomodoro timer inside your Obsidian Vault. I hope you like this video. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button because I'll be coming with more videos like this related to Obsidian in the future. Thank you. Have a great day.